Hello, and welcome to this tutorial video on Air Magnet Survey Pro, covering the multi-floor planner feature. From the main screen in Survey Pro, I can launch multi-floor planner by clicking on the multi-floor planner button at the top. The multi-floor planner window will load. To start a new project, I'll click File, New. Enter the name of my project, along with the number of floors, information on the floor height, as well as any spacing in between the floors, and click OK. On the left-hand side, I now have the basic format of my building. I can see the number of floors that I selected. In the 3D view, I have a basic template for my building as well. To load the specific floor plans for each floor, I select the floor that I would like to load, and click the Create Plan button. For my floor, I will enter the name and select the floor plan image that I would like to use. As with the standard planner feature, we need to calibrate our floor plan after we create it. To calibrate, I click two known points, enter the dimensions, and then recalibrate according to this new dimension. With one floor created, I can now repeat this process to create all the other floors in my building. Now that each floor has its individual floor plan correctly loaded, I need to align the floors correctly. To do so, I need to click on the Align Floors button at the top. The Align screen shows two floor plans. On the bottom is a reference floor that will be used to align my other floor plan too. On the top is the floor that I am aligning. I can click two known points on the top floor plan. These could be things such as a stairwell or an elevator shaft that pass through the floors and are known to have the exact same location on both floor plans. Then I will click the same first reference point on the bottom image. I can now swing the second pin until it aligns perfectly with the second alignment point that I chose on my top image. Once both points are correctly aligned between the two floor plans, I click Align. These two floors will now be correctly aligned within my three-dimensional model. I need to repeat the alignment process for my other floors. Now my building floor plan is ready to go. I have the floor plans loaded for each floor. The floors have been aligned to each other, and they have been individually calibrated for their measurements. With my building ready, it is now time for me to place and draw the walls, attenuation areas, and eventually place my APs, the same way I did in Planner. Now my building is ready to go, and I can calculate my heat map to see the effects. Thanks to Multifloor Planner, I not only can see my coverage on any individual floor, but I can see what the coverage looks like across all the different floors. I can also visualize bleed through from one floor to another by selecting a given AP and seeing what that AP's coverage looks like. I can filter the APs in my list by choosing a particular floor. Then choosing one of these APs, I will see the heat map only for that AP. Note that in most cases, this access point's coverage will penetrate to a floor above and potentially a floor below it. This can be highly valuable to me as I choose my channel plan. Interference may come not only from access points on the same floor, but also APs on the floor above or the floor below. Also note that on my 3D view, the access point height is modeled by showing the AP symbol raised off the floor plan by a red line. If I were to change the AP height, the height of that line would change. I can view my floor plans in a number of ways. I can look at a three-dimensional view, as we can see on the main screen. Or I can view multiple floors at the same time. This allows me the freedom to work with individual floors, view multiple floors, or see the 3D model, whichever I need to use at a given time for the ease of my analysis. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you for choosing Air Magnet Survey Pro.